worms on this. I don't see any worms. I don't see any worms. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any Ozodax there. In horror films, unseen monsters often scare us most. In the deep ocean, it's the missing zombie worms that worry scientists. When whale bones were placed on the seafloor off the British Columbia coast, researchers expected these bone-devouring decomposers to show up. But mysteriously, none appeared. So, where are the zombie worms? And should we be worried we can't find them? Well, zombie worms are annelid worms that are related to the giant tube worms that you see at hydrothermal vents and cold seeps. They're much smaller, and what's remarkable about them is that they bur burrow into bone. Burrows that these worms form can serve as habitat for a variety of other species. By creating the conditions for other species to colonize whale falls, the carcasses of whales that have died and fallen to the seafloor, Osadax help create biodiversity hotspots in the ocean. Thus, we then conceived the experiment and expected to see Osedax colonizing this humpback rib bone sections uh, we placed around one kilometer deep in Barclay Canyon. We used the very high resolution camera we have installed in Ocean Networks Canada's Neptune Observatory and various additional visits over time with a remotely operated vehicle. So for us, it was very surprising that after nearly 10 years since we placed the bones, not a single individual of Ocetax was found. Well, we think the absence of zombie worms was caused by low oxygen, that it was just low enough in this oxygen minimum zone that the zombie worms couldn't colonize. OMZs are expanding, and here in the Northeast Pacific, research suggests it is expanding quite rapidly. So as it expands, it's going to underlay a greater and greater percentage of the migration routes of humpbacks and gray whales. And so more and more whale carcasses will sink into these OMZs where concentrations are too low for Ocedex to colonize. As low oxygen zones spread across the Northeast Pacific floor, driven by climate change, habitat loss seems likely for Ocedex, those bone-eating zombie worms, and the rich ocean life they sustain. But the story isn't over. Ocean Networks Canada and partners are continuing to keep a close eye out for these eerie, but important, deep sea dwellers. <laughs>